And one of the things Mike makes the point of is some people say, well, just because your penis gets hard, right, in response to a particular kind of sexual stimulation doesn't mean that's your orientation. And he argues, and I think he's right, that usually when we talk about core orientation, that is what we mean. What gets you off, right? What excites you? So we can talk about sexual behavior being different. So somebody may feel one thing but behave another way. A sexual identity is yet another thing. But I think he's right that when we're talking about sexual orientation, what we should be looking for is what stimulates your body in that reactive way, right? And that tells us something about orientation. And there again, females turn out to be significantly more complicated. We don't even know what to measure in a female. In a male, it's pretty easy. It's an erection. Right. In a female, people like Mike historically have measured um, vaginal, uh, basically vaginal lubrication. So a vagina getting wetter is a signal of that. That's a orientation response. But the penis is not the homologue of the vagina. The clitoris is the homologue. The right. clitoris is the way women orgasm. So it's very unclear to me what even we should be measuring in females. We, we don't understand female sexuality. Um, male sexuality seems to frankly be a lot simpler and more boring. <laughs> and that's part of the reason it's been studied because it's easier to study than females are to study because females are really significantly more interesting, I think. Well, I say this in my class. I say, look, the greatest travesty is that we can hurdle a piece of machine how many light years away and land it on a damn planet and take pictures and collect samples, and we don't even know if a G-spot exists. We don't no, even that's know. that's right. That's right. right. Ridiculous. You know, right. we don't know. Well, we won't fund that because sending something to Mars is not is not dangerous the way measuring a, a clitoral <laughs> arousal is dangerous. So... <laughs> right. No, that's it. Really, I mean, I, I spend so much time in the class talking about how it how it's pathetic that some of these questions, even you know, uh, the female ejaculation. What is it? This has been a, a yes, debate yes. for so long. We don't and, know. No, we, we don't, don't know. know. <laughs> it's, it's not that difficult. We have it. You can take assay samples. It's in any um, event. So, I once had to write an encyclopedia article on <laughs> orgasm, and that is what I concluded: is you know, at the end of the day, who really cares what it means? <laughs> Why it happens? Like at the end of the day, this is not why we have them; is to explain them. But anyway, right. yeah, it was for the uh, Cambridge Companion to the Body. It was this encyclopedia, so I got to write the entries on penis, orgasm, and dwarf. I still remember. 